So I'm gonna tell you guys why this is a serious drama. All right. So the other day, I make a video talking about the Genshin drama about the AI. Okay. So one of the comment section basically said, I find it funny. The artists are so against AI. Like the tech is here, adapt or get left behind. Every industry has to adapt over the advancement of tech. But when it comes to artists, they become a special snowflake. Snowflake. An actual artist with AI will be better. A more efficient artist than an artist without. An artist with AI will be better than a novice with AI. So what's crazy about this? It's not about what he said about artists being snowflake. It's about the 41 replies. 41 replies. That's a lot. There's a lot of back and forth. They were trying to fight in the comment section. So today, we're going to read it. We're going to read all 41 replies to see what is the drama all about. All right. There's some intense back and forth going on. So let's check it out. Damn, you saw the drama and like his comment. So it was on this video here, Genshin Artist banned for using AI. So let's check it out. Uh, we're just gonna... This Aranara. So basically it was, we talked about this, right? Remember, we talked about this uh, the other day. So basically the artist was changing the, for, for the context, there was an artist in Genshin. Uh, he or she got banned for apparently using AI. So this creature in the back, the Aranara, apparently became flowers you can see it turned into flowers so here's an aranara and then the final result the final picture uh, it became flowers right so let's see where's this uh, comment right here 45 replies now holy moly okay so the comment here I find it funny that artists are so against AI. The tech is here. Adapt or get left behind. Every other industry has to adapt over the advancement of tech. When it comes to artists, they become a special snowflake. An actual artist with AI will be better. A more efficient than an artist without. An artist with AI will be better than a novice with AI. I also find it funny that artists using any type of software to make these drawings are using AI by some degree. Uh, I do agree, actually. I, I disagree with him saying that artist is a special snowflake. Of course, that one is uh, that one is too much, right? But uh, I can, I mean, I can feel why people are mad for sure. You know, I can understand. I don't think, I don't think it's, I don't think artists being angry or being upset or being scared that it, they are getting replaced by AI is making them a snowflake. I think it's just natural for people to be afraid that something is coming to replace you and you ha you got no control over what you can do. And it's really hard to just pick up something that you are not familiar with, right? In this case, using AI. So some artists are just like, you know, they might not, uh, they, they, are, they are probably comfortable where they are, etc, etc. But again, I don't really disagree with the statement. I do think that AI is here, correct? You either adapt or get left behind. I can agree with that, for sure. There's nothing that you can do to suppress this. Because you can't really ban AI. How do you ban AI? The only way you can ban AI is by government doing it. Do you think the government is going to do it and have these laws to ban AI? I don't think so. And even if one government does it, let's say the let's say the US government, the American government do it, what about the other parts of the world, right? So I don't think it is something that you can basically just suppress. There's no way to suppress this. So you, you got to adapt. You, you have to. There's no choice. This is the world that we have come to, sadly. Uh, and the part of him saying about the software to make drawings using AI with some degree, I can agree with this, right? There are a lot of people that use Photoshop or or some sort of tools that are somewhat like AI, right? Even people, I have noticed a lot of people that take photo and then they go and put it in software to try to enhance it, to try to edit it to look nicer. That's also somewhat like you are modifying it in a way. All right, let's see then. That's such a dumb thing. Starting with the fact that it's a freaking contest and contest rules prohibit use of AI. Secondly, the image. Final render here, rigs of AI finish, and the problem is that you have very little control over the result that it gives. Cause it's not really designed to help you draw, just um just to mash a bunch of 
other art together in a way to satisfy the user. There's no way right now it can be better than any pro art. Okay. I realize that it's against the rules to use AI. I'm not commenting on the rules of the competition, but artist behavior on AI in general. If you stop having such a knee-jerk reaction to my comment for a brief second, you realize the actual point. You say you don't have a control over AI, but that's not necessarily true either. There has been a lot of investment in AI, specifically giving more fine grain control. AI can literally write almost complete applications. AI can write essays. You don't need to see programmers crying over losing their jobs. Lastly, a pro artist with AI will be better than an artist without AI. Guess what? You say AI will never be better than real artists, but apparently in this competition, the AI assisted art won the second place. So I would say it's working pretty good. Damn. Okay. The main problem for using AI is that you practically have less job to do, less to think, less to imagine, and be creative. And yes, obviously an artist is better at using AI, but all of this implies that novice artists will practically receiving free talent praise and followers while they don't have talent. It's like copying partially from many artists and say, hey, this is my work, while they did almost nothing. This should be the reason why there should be some regulations like stating this work is made by the aid of AI and not hiding behind some cheap talent. In brief, all of this happens because the average consumer is just so dumb, they cannot identify real arts from AI arts. Same concept with people praising some cliche and bad animes compared to qualitative animes. If novice artists abuse this, someday you'll see less and less artists and good arts because everyone abused these tools. I disagree. I disagree with uh, what this guy is saying, right? Uh, number one, by saying that uh, this happens because the average consumer is dumb, they cannot identify real arts from AI arts. Like, who are you to, to, to say what people like and what people cannot like, right? So if someone, someone can... I'm sure you guys have been in the position before, somebody can look at an art and be like, okay, that's a good art, but to you it sucks. Because art is subjective, right? You can't say what is a good art or what is a bad art. Like by saying that your art is good and someone else's art is bad, it's just you having bias. I think it's it's up to the market to decide, it's up to the average consumer in this case to decide. Just because they say that your art is bad, doesn't mean that they are dumb. You know, maybe it's just in their eyes, your art is just not good, right? So you gotta find your own, uh, like your own customer in, in that sense, right? There's a lot of artist art style that I don't like as much, as in like, the anime art style is not something that uh, I like as much. <coughs> Put a banana and duct tape to the wall is the best art. Yeah, I've seen a lot of that before. Uh, it's going to be something to to consider, right? Uh, as for the main problem with using AI is like you have a less job to do, less to think, less to imagine and be creative. That's the whole point. That's actually the whole point. Why do you think companies want to use artists? to replace to your AI to replace artists because less job to do you can do it faster you can deliver things faster you can make the art faster less to think of course less to imagine yeah less to be creative of course yeah and yeah not not every art has to have a lot of thinking and a lot to a lot to imagine and a lot of creativity right because at the end of the day your if your final result is not something that somebody wants it doesn't matter I, I think at the end of the day, it's, it's just like, look at Palworld, right? A lot of people like Palworld, but people keep saying that the art is cheap, but yet it's doing extremely well and a lot of people seem to like it. So I think that's that's all that matters, you know, at the end of the day. Uh, it's up to the consumer to decide what is good. If uh, I'm sure there are some people that avoided playing Palworld because of the AI and stuff, but most people seem to like it, you know? And I do think that it is unfortunate for sure. Uh, that people are losing their jobs but at the end of the day uh, most people that consume the stuff this doesn't bother them or it doesn't like it's not their their issue it's not their problem per se firstly you are the one that having knee-jerk reaction to artists apparently the tech is currently unethical it's not fun to use for an artist damn not fun to use hopefully broad usage of image generators in commercial spaces becomes illegal 
it will never become illegal sadly because it's hard to regulate these things you are far detached from creating art that i don't really need to explain that actually knowing how to draw gives you a full control over visual art writing text prompts is not creating art that's kind of the gist <laughs> okay uh, put a banana. All I'm saying is there's a reason why AI art isn't popping besides Nude Fanart. Uh, it's not popping because it's not that good yet. Maybe it will get good eventually. I'm not having a knee-jerk reaction to artists. I'm telling them that in a few years, if they don't adapt, they will get left behind. Regardless if they choose to or not, it's not my problem. Unethical is just an artist quote. AI is not doing anything different than an actual human is doing. Humans like AI learn from examples. You can't copyright a style. You just have to be you you be you be just as successful in make, making a tablet, pen, paintbrush, or a camera illegal. As we speak right now, companies are pursuing AI like no tomorrow. Nvidia's stock is a testimony to the fact. Artists will use generative AI tool in the future or they will not be able to compete with others that do. Just like what happened in the competition that won second place. The job market doesn't care about competition rules, they also use it for concept art. Yep, um, once again, every field is being improved by AI from medical to art, yet it is artists that are gatekeeping because tech bros figured out how to lower the skill required to produce acceptable pieces, and they are pissed off. Damn. Posting text blankets, how you dislike artists for raising issues with generative AI is not a knee-jerk reaction. Go pick up a pencil if you really want to draw. The sea of AI pictures will just become that pointless sea of mess-ups and remixes that nobody cares about. Wow. <clears throat> I don't think AI is right because it doesn't have the same feeling that we do. It doesn't express nothing at all. It doesn't know what it's doing, just copying from actual artists. If someone use AI, they at least have to admit, unlike the Genshin people there. Of course they won't admit, right? If they admit, then they will get forfeit. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh my god, the essays! You just push a bunch of opinions off as fact. There are plenty of use cases for AI and there's nothing wrong with AI when applied correctly. AI art itself is not unethical, it's just that people haven't yet worked out a framework for how to effectively compensate artists or come to a consensus on how far removed the end result needs to be to be considered sufficiently unique that no compensation is needed. AI art that remix mimics 80% of what one piece of art has already done is unfair to the artist. But AI art that borrows minor aspects from thousands of pieces can't be said to be doing the same thing. <clears throat> and I think most AI are like that, right? Uh, I'm not sure. When they borrow like thousands of, uh, you know, they generate, they are able to fit, you are able to fit that many complexity into it. I think it's going to be harder for you to know, okay, whose style is this AI borrowing at that point, right? Because people are having this uh, conception, this concept that okay, AI is unfair because it's stealing an artist's artist's art style. So what if an AI learns multiple art style and incorporate its own as combination of art styles based on multiple different art style? Like at that point, isn't that like a new art style altogether? Like I would argue that could be right. And how do you regulate that? You can't you can't copyright an art style, sadly. Even even at the at the fundamental level, is impossible. This is in essence no different from what a human does when they perceive other pieces of art and draw on what they have seen to create fresh work. Even if people like to pretend it's somehow not. Humans can't create something from nothing. There's no spiritual element that magically makes this art and make a machine's process different, as humans and animals are, at the end of the day, functionally biological machines. Even the unique take thing is nonsense as each AI model possesses data in its own way. Lastly, it also depends on what it's used for, like trying to sell it without doing anything transformative. There are already laws that stop people copywriting AI art, so it's already treated differently legally from normal art. Anything more is just artists fighting the process of progress of technology. People fought against railways, then cars, 
then smartphones, then social media, and they all fail. Artists need to adapt or accept the technology and be more proactive in working out fair lines because it's not going away. And no one is going to stop using it because you clamor about it. Wow. Wow, this is true, man. This is true. And yeah, it's really sad that artists are losing their job. And of course it sucks, right? But then, just because you are losing your job doesn't mean that people are going to stop using it. Again, companies are going to use it. What you gonna do about it, huh? Companies are going to stop using real artists and use AI. AI. I think at the end of the day, you know, you, it's not something that you can fight against, right? You can't do anything. Yeah, you, it's hard for you to do any. The only way you can do something is by uh, having the government regulate it. But like I said, how do you have the government regulate it? There's just no way. It's just something that's fundamentally impossible, right? I enjoy debating hints of the wall of text. I'm also informing you exactly what is going to happen because it has already happened with other advancements. This isn't new and will continue to happen. AI right now is the worst AI we will ever see. Not even artists use a pen plus paper as much anymore, but a tablet with editing software. Eventually, they use generative AI tools with editing software. Hmm. Okay. Nobody is debating the tech or its usefulness. The issue is specific to image generators or other media generators and their data sets. But you do seem like another dude that lives under a rock or a proponent with the same arguments as other tech warrior bros. And no matter how much you say that machine learning doesn't think or create or process information the same way as humans, that training a corporate piece of software on billions of copyrighted imagery is not the same as referencing some posts is from two different worlds. They will defend said corporate property like they breathe with it. When the camera was made, self-portraits were threatened. True! When camera was made, self-portraits were threatened. People that draw art using self-portrait, those people, they were in trouble. We didn't need a regulation saying this portrait was made by camera or restrict camera. The reality is AI is just a tool that lowers the bar in producing works. When the drawing tablet came out, we didn't have regulation on that either. What amounts to is artists are mad, like you said, that the cloud they can generate is hindered. There is now increased competition for that cloud. My argument is they should adapt, make even better art than the newbies with these tools by using the same tools, so they can continue to having this cloud. These tools are widely available to everyone. Everyone is on the same playing field. Is it true? Wait, is it true? Your eyes are in. Is it true? That these tools are available to everyone? Uh, I didn't know that. I thought like only... Maybe you have to buy it? It's like a software? AI tools? For now, it's artists. Eventually, it will be everyone. Make sure to stay positive. Obviously, right? I don't think you are really even qualified to inform anyone. Stated above that using AI is some unique skill, and those who won't use it right now will fall behind. Dude, you are truly clueless. If you are talking to artists, they already learn a skill that is thousands or million times harder. If all fails, and someone will need to use it, it's a matter of days to be able to use it. Humans like AI learns from examples. You can't copyright a style, sorry. You'll be just as successful in making a tablet, pen, paintbrush, or a camera illegal. What is this line? Or more correctly, machine learning learn from raw pixel data. It does not understand concepts like lighting, lighting or anatomy, or even what is beautiful. It doesn't have any experiences. Why are we still making these stupid comparisons? Nobody is trying to copyright a style, dude. The only major complaint 
is ingesting billions of copyrighted imagery to ideally displace artists from commercial work. Nobody is making paintbrushes illegal. Damn, you are really clueless. Wow. Wow, this argument is insane. <laughs> there are free websites for that? Really? There are a few problems with that logic. One is that it's unfor unenforceable. How do you argue that this is or that part was made using your art when there are thousands of other artists who have done the same thing? If it's obvious, fair, you have a case. But 999 times out of 1000, this doesn't happen. Secondly, artists don't reference a post. They quite literally copy aspects of what they perceive and use it elsewhere. Just because we use different semantics for humans doesn't change the mechanical process of what's occurring. So the only argument to be made is that the copyright aspect, but again, this all comes down to who wins the fair use argument when it comes to whether these algorithms should have the same freedoms as people provided the end result is sufficiently transformative. Wow, transformative. AI don't have copyright. Damn, don't have copyright. That means anyone can use them then, right? How he call other clueless when he's clueless? Who is clueless? They are both clueless? No way. The camera comparison is also wild. Commercial art was never fully threatened by camera since cameras only depict objective reality. It was never a replacement for the process of drawing or, or painting. Photography requires a lot of creative work and knowledge. It's still a skill compared to prompters like studio preparation, lighting props, wardrobe, composition, pose, and all of the creative choices. Uh, I, think, I think this guy is really focused on all of this. Creative work, knowledge, this stuff, right? But I think he's not trying, he's not thinking like how a layman person thinks. He... Maybe this guy is most likely an artist, right? He, he the way he talk, like he's most likely. I think this is the disconnect. He's he's thinking like an artist and he's talking like an artist, but I think you sometimes have to understand what the normal people care about. If you only think from your perspective, you will never be able to understand uh, what the market wants or what actually people care about. Like as in, like most general, most people don't care about your creative work or knowledge. This is something that you can. You get what I'm saying? It's the same for me, right? Like for example, I, I'm a YouTuber, right? I make videos. I care a lot about how I edit my videos. I care a lot about the music I use in my videos. But most of you guys don't care about that. When you watch a video, you just want to know what it's about. Is it, if it's about drama, it's about guides, it's about a tier list. That's why you, you care about the content. That's why you click on the video, right? So you don't care about what background music I use, how's my intro, how's my outro. Those are the things you don't care. Those are the things that I care about. But I also need to know that from your perspective, like obviously as, as a viewer, like there's a disconnect there, right? As a YouTuber and as a viewer, most people care about different things. Taking from someone's work <laughs> is a definition of it. It is taking from some, I'm not saying that I never say that it never takes someone else's work. Obviously, AI do take from someone's work. But I'm just saying, I'm also saying that the general public don't care about how much creative work and knowledge you put into something. Right? So if you are selling your art, if a person commission you, they don't care about how much time, or you spend three days or you spend four days. They just want you to draw this. And if they can get it faster, they would. I think most people would. Actually, they don't care, but have the same energy when bullshit jobs replace fast food retail customer service white collar. I'm not sure about I'm not sure about they them not caring about that. I'm sure most people care about everything equally. You care for good games and movies. I cannot support this crap. Obviously, you care about good games and movies, right? I think we all do. But uh, there's a lot of games. I mean, isn't power made using AI? As far as I know, but people seem to like it. Normal person won't care as long as it looks good. Yeah, generally. So again, a lot of these things are like, uh, generally, this is what artists care about. All of you listed some different genre of tools. 
the AI usage concept is completely new in this history. You cannot surely compare it to some self-portraits. AI is actually generating content by copying from other content and not facilitating content creation as a tool. This is something that may cause some drastic changes in human behavior, killing talents because imagination will become easier. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that, wouldn't that encourage talents? Because imagination becomes easier. I feel like, I feel like it, it instead of killing talents, it will, you will see a lot of different talents. I would argue that because right now, people that don't know how to draw, they are able to draw. I don't know. I feel like I I don't I don't really agree with this, but it's hard to say for sure. It's going to be a very complicated things. <clears throat> Art that is artistic study, people that don't do nothing but consume thing, they know everything. Well, the thing is also art is subjective as well. Sadly, right? There's a lot of times when I look at an art and I'll be like, okay, that's kind of ugly, and. Some people will be like, "Oh, that's kind of good." There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of times uh, that happen, right? For example, like I, I remember back then when Revive Witch first came out, I thought the art was kind of ugly actually. The L two D was okay for some characters, but it's one of the comparatively in the Gacha game, I think it's one of the worst art. But a lot of people seem to praise the art for Revive Witch. I don't think the art was that good. So that's, I think that's that's where uh, there's a lot of disconnect when it comes to art, right? You can't really say what is what is a uh, good or what is bad because everyone is going to have different perspective. It helps people with good ideas that can't draw. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say, right? Like if something is easier to do, does it kill talents? I think it encourages talents rather than kill them because it helps people with good ideas that can't draw. It it could it could go both sides for sure. Sure, it might it might demotivate some people with uh, with skill, some novice artists will abuse this tool to get some easy money and fame, at the same time killing their own talent. This will most likely happen if you categorize real artists with some cheap AI artists. Nobody will try to enforce as to who made this or that image which works were used. Their data sets and it's already clear which artworks were used. The point of all lawsuits and majority of government lobbying to pressure AI corps to force them to change the data sets and do it ethically. That's pretty much it. I didn't even know government enforce it. Is it true? Damn. If that's the case, this is pretty interesting. My point is not about semantics, the mechanics behind machine learning or what is called AI, and humans is vastly different, even at the basis of creating images. Huh. Nobody will study any art if some people, some other people press a button and pulls out fake out, fake art. That's the death of arts. Nobody will study any art if some people press a button and pulls out fake art. No, I think there are some people that will pursue it still, just because they find it interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure I, I can agree with that. There's a lot of people that like love reading books for fun, right? Because that's their hobby. If they like it, they like it, you know? I think you're trying to say it from a job perspective. Yeah, I think you're trying to say nobody will pursue this because you can't make jobs with it. And if that's the case, I feel like they should probably uh, update or upgrade what they teach in college as well, right? Uh, hopefully to help improve every aspect of it. Last time I checked, I don't see many people paying artists to create a self-portrait anymore. The industry has been completely destroyed by camera. Do people still hire an artist for self-portrait sometimes? Yes. But it doesn't happen as much anymore. This shows your lack of understanding of what is going on. Are you going to argue that drawing a self-portrait from scratch is the same level of effort than taking a photo and using photo editing software? Of course not. The camera and AI lowers the effort in accomplishing a goal. If I wanted a photo of myself, I can use a camera. Before the camera, I had to hire someone to do that. Yes, I actually has an uncle that uh, was a cameraman. He lost his job uh, about, I would say about five years ago. He owns a camera studio. People will go to his photo, photo studio for like weddings and stuff. 
but yeah ever since uh you know business has been slow and it is what it is uh it is going to be something that's that's like that i, I am a writer if ai books would be popular i will not write anything you are a writer if ai books would be popular you will not write anything then is it because of money then if that's your perspective like i'm trying to understand is it because of money because you're doing it because of money because it's a job and you think that because there's an ai you're competing against other ai for jobs right i think that's your perspective but i think having that perspective is necessary it's not necessarily always about about money for for other people they want to learn which is what i'm trying to say right someone thought and created the things you like because they like it too art being subjective is fine which is why we have so much art right now yeah i think that's pretty cool uh to have more options in general what the pit might mean here is that since you have ai that can generate tons of ideas some upcoming talents won't be able to bloom since instead of practicing aj will do instead what is aj or oh, ai yeah definitely uh v vfx as well and a lot of other things i think you don't understand the size of comparisons or the concept of creative control image generations are targeted to replace both photography stock imagery photo bashing digital art including concepts etc vfx and many more it's not a creative tool where you have a creative process that involves manipulating visual information you just pick random stuff that machine generates for you no matter the amount of sliders attached to it ah. you are selling reroll gacha accounts if ai can do it reroll it will be bad yeah i understand in terms of making money so the issue is not about ai the issue is about you cannot make money which is a bit different you see and i think people need to be able to separate this people always try to i don't know why people just don't be honest and they say that oh uh drawing art is all about effort it's all about talent but then it's actually all about money why can't they just be honest and say i'm an artist i earn a lot of money if AI comes out, I, I won't be earning as much money anymore. Why do they have to put like all these arbitrary things? You get what I'm saying? Like, sure, some of them care about those, right? Uh, definitely, some people care about a lot of those things. But I think I've never hear a single person say that. <laughs> this is going to block your road to money. Block your road to money, indeed. But yeah, I, I it sucks that you're losing your job, right? It is all of that. Is all of that money yeah it is it is about money but then a lot of them don't seem to don't seem to say uh, don't seem to want to admit it and when it comes to about uh about pursuing art you can still pursue art for fun not necessarily for money you get what i'm saying <clears throat> block your road okay uh concept of creative control image generations are targeted to replace both photography stock imagery photo bashing digital art including concepts vfx and many more it's not a creative tool where you have a creative process that involves manipulating visual information you just pick random stuff that machine generates for you no matter the amount of sliders attached to it oh, oh my god the essay goes on no one ever say oh no i will get replaced and i won't make money anymore yeah i never i never hear anyone say that uh especially those people that say that they want to pursue art and nobody will pursue art anymore because of that what do you mean by pursuing art you mean pursuing money uh pursuing art as a job uh again it's always very it's always extremely complicated right but i think if at the end of the day if it's all about money i think the government needs to step in and probably like i don't know man it, it is a bit complicated right it sucks but then at the same time this is something that's been happening in a lot of other fields as well 
artists haven't bring bring a valid statement that will prove it. Uh, I think it, it will continue continuously improve, right? It will definitely continuously improve. Nobody said about money. They just don't want their art to be stolen realistically. I was more of answering... Uh, was it you or somebody that said uh, this statement? Do, do, do. About somebody saying about pursuing art. I think it was you, right? You were saying something about uh, pursuing art. And that's where that's where I said people pursue art because of money. If if that's the case, right? If that's the case, yeah, they shouldn't pursue it. Sadly, right? Uh, it's going to be an issue for sure. AI doesn't bring anyone ahead. It will just bring everyone down. Really? You think AI will bring everyone down? What do you mean by everyone? Okay, look at it. I know you're emotional on this topic, but do realize that just because a skill is hard to learn does not mean tools cannot be developed to make a hard skill easier. And in some cases, obsolete. Yes, they will be replaced by people who can use AI. We all know it is as that is one of the reasons artists are mad. If AI was terrible and artists didn't feel threatened, we would not be having this discussion now, would we? Of course. Of course. People are mad because AI is good. If AI sucks balls, nobody would come out and, and try to argue about this. Artists wouldn't have to worry. They won't lose their jobs because they know that they are better than AI. But because AI is good, they are getting mad. <laughs> I mean, rightfully so. I'm not saying that they shouldn't get mad. I think, yeah, I can see why they're upset. Just because you learn from copyright material doesn't mean the art you produce is copyright material by the artist you learn from. Why can an artist learn from copyright material but a tool I made that mimic human behavior also learn from such material cannot? It's ridiculous. Just because I'm not holding a pen, I develop a robot to hold a pen. Now we have copyright issue. I hate to break it to you, but humans are also a feedback loop. Once again, AI art is the worst than that it will ever be. Over time, it will get better to handle all the nuances that comes with artistic design that you have laid out. Let me remind you the AI assisted art one second place. I will say the straw man of making paintbrushes illegal is laughable. Really does show you are completely out of your depth here. Trying to ban AI tools for generating art is like attempting to ban the paintbrush, tablets, editing software. You know why? They are all just tools. Just happens that the AI tool is the most intelligent, requires the least effort. Okay, he's back. I gave you an objective, non emotional view of the problem. Someone who calls someone emotional started out with cry and frustration over artists. Why these pesky artists are so whiny? I told them to adopt and then completes his tirade with reiterating already refuted arguments, suspiciously. Sounds like someone emotionally unstable. And no, he didn't win second place because he was lazy and used AI. It costed him second place in that contest. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Yo, why is it? Why can't they dis discuss about the topic? Why now it comes to personal attacks? Damn. Turn about is fair play. You start with the snide remarks. I also got a couple myself. I 100% not above throwing some shit. No, your response is filled with emotional rhetoric. Also, you're not being objective. Historically, with the advancement with tech, people had to adapt, and you know it to be true. Artists will need to adapt. Even now, people with AI-assisted help are placing in art competitions. Business will want to lower their cost, they will use generative AI. So no, I will make a few snipes myself as you made it fair game. Yes, artists are whiny over AI art. That is an objective fact. To an extreme degree that is not repeated in any other industry, maybe besides voice actors. Uh, because artists are, a lot of them are on Twitter, I think. I think the reason why artists are whiny, or because you hear a lot of artists complaining, is because a lot of artists use social media to promote their art. 
So I can see why at the same time they would be on social media, they would be on Instagram, they would be on x.com or Twitter, they would be everywhere or some of the artists dropping on Twitch and stuff. So you would hear it a lot more compared to a lot of other uh, occupations or, or field. Artists use Patreon and stuff and still work from other which does not create a good picture for their personal online. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Do artists use Patreon to steal from people? I'm not sure. Maybe there are some. Sure, I can see some, right? But yeah, uh, this is... Okay, let's see. Ooh, different essay. Yo, how long has this essay been? I agree, the AI is a significant advancement of fools that is in a space of its own, just like the camera was back in the day, in that time period. I'm using a metaphor. The camera back then was not a shallow advancement by that day and age and standard. Just like how AI is advancement, today is revolutionary. AI doesn't copy art, it learns through a feedback loop. It produces results that people want. Can you force an AI to make an almost identical image to that of copyright material? Yes, you 100% can. But so can a person with a pen and tablet. A person can even directly copy the copyright image. I would even argue that humans are better at art, fraud, than AI is. People have been making counterfeit art for years. You have artists right now on Patreon commission drawing art related to the a company's IP that they don't own, especially in the Valorant or Genshin Impact community and selling related merch. But now with AI, we are worried about copyright. Yes, tools will help make a difficult skill easier. That is just a natural progression of things. Developing art is not immune to this fact. It's up to the individual on what they have to do from here on to improve. Only one like. Remember when cars got made, all of those horses lost their jobs? <laughs> horses are not human, so I guess it's fine. Yeah, it, it, it sucks. Like I say, it sucks that people are losing their jobs. If art is not related, if art has no money tied to it, I think this would people wouldn't be having this conversation right now. But it's because people lose their jobs and people need money, so yeah, people are like upset about it. Skill issue get good. It's hard to get. It's hard to compete with AI, sadly. Uh, and you know AI is gonna get better from now on. You didn't understand what I mean by copy. AI copies a lot for, of art's reason why the quality is so good. AI only knows how to copy structure, style, concept. Everything can be copied. The way they use data from many artists is just simply sad. In the whole human creation, there's anything relative similar as AI creation. It is a completely new concept because it creates content which is completely different from using or applying some futuristic tool that simplifies some kind of work that requires skills to replicate the same exact work. Skills again. Yeah, this guy puts a lot of uh, emphasis on skills and I get it, right? As an artist, you want to like put a lot of emphasis on your skill. Uh, stable diffusion does the exact opposite of copying. They take an image, apply a really aggressive mask to a point that is static, literally noise, and try and fast out objects that are recognizable. Hmm. Hence the name stable diffusion. That's why you can obtain an art style, structure, but generating an exact copy of an image is hard to do unless you train on an extremely low sample size, or you specifically train on a curated training set. Art style, structure, and concept are not copyrightable. Yes. It makes it easy for people to draw in similar styles. Taking style is not wrong either. Hoyovers took the cartoon clocky style from Mickey Mouse, for example. Humans use other humans' data to produce work. Here, a thought experiment. If a person took a series of Mickey Mouse pictures and learned to draw a cartoon mouse, is that wrong? If person B took the same picture set and trained an AI to produce cartoon mouse pictures, is that wrong? Both are using the same set, producing the similar pictures, but different tools. Yet both are treated different, publicly. Hmm. Okay, interesting. I agree this is unavoidable and the only thing I can do is adapt. I always wonder how I can even adapt. If by the time I improve my skills, I'm already obsolete since AI improves way faster than humans. Unless a plateau of technology occurs, it's impossible for any human to adapt fast enough to not be irrelevant. That's what scares me the most, and I doubt that the greedy corporations are going to start to be kind to others. 
I don't really see anything beneficial to AI besides the few wealthy corporations. Um, whew, this is kind of tough. If you can't adapt, you might have to look into a different different field altogether. I think it's just it's just what it is. It's just what it is, right? That's copying a style by infusing it with your own imagination. You still didn't understand what I mean by copying. AI can match up as much as they want, but the end result is still the result of extracting from knowledge of other artists, or it won't work. Reason why you can see so many AI arts that are similar? Familiar. There are so many obviously copies of styles from artists, and they are effortless. Okay. You're the one pulling out the copyright thing. I never touched that topic. I just stated that AI will ruin talent. No vice mainly. Caused by ignorant consumers. You're trying too hard to make me understand something while you didn't even understood my comment itself. <clears throat> I worry about these two, the answer I came up with. You don't try and compete. You augment your abilities and skills with these tools and you work alongside them to be more effective. All in all, thread, nice chat, but I actually have to get my work done as it hasn't been replaced by AI yet. Wow. Wow. Wait, how long does this go on? I've been reading for almost one hour now. <laughs> Let's read the last one. Art doesn't need to be industrialized and not always involve money. It can be a form of expression and experience. You can make beautiful art using AI, but you can't feel the joy of using brush. The joy... Try to learn why the color is not matched. The mood is just different. It's just not you. It's a personal expression. Just try to do something you enjoy the most and hire people to do it. Do you feel the joy? And this is why there's still people using traditional art as a media because it's irreplaceable experience. I'm not against people using AI, AI has its place, but I against people who tell a lie. If you use AI, just be truthful. Don't do sneaky stuff. Why would they? When they can win competitions. The joy of making money. The joy of making money. Man, man, this is a long read. But yeah, sadly, the AI thing, like I said, is probably not going to go away. It's going to get better from now on. You gotta adapt, man. You just gotta. Like, complaining about it sadly won't, won't do anything because it's going to continuously improve. That's just how it is. Unless the government comes out and regulate it, I don't see it being uh, something that, you know, anyone can solve on the internet, sadly. It's something that uh, you gotta, like... You know, those that are publicly available, you gotta like pick it up as your um, part of your tools, I guess, tool sets.